Hello, beautiful Aries, and welcome to your weekly message. I hope that this reading finds you well. Um, I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. If you are new here, welcome in, my loves. Welcome to the to the Soul Familia. Those of you guys returning, welcome back. All right, so I'm going to get right into the message. Starting off with um, some tarot. I believe this deck is called the Angel Message Tarot, something like that. Release. Ooh, it's like the death card. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back and spiritual transformation. I do feel that Aries, I feel that you guys are going through a huge um, rebirth at this time. And I do feel that for a lot of you guys, there are situations that need to be released. Okay. Whether that's, you know, it could be about anything. It could be, you know, um, old thought patterns. It could be addictions, any kind of codependencies, like, it's like devil energy is what I want to say, but this could be like in the forms of connections, relationships, people. Um, you are going through a huge spiritual transformation right now. Bottom of the deck is the dreamer. It's the fool. Okay. There's like, I don't know. I, I'm just getting like a door opening with endless possibilities. See that door and how it opens up to like the astral. Looks like it's like right in the sky. You have Archangel Raphael sitting back here in the way back. A lot of healing happening. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So for some of you guys, to have a new beginning, you have to release some stuff. It's like you have to release in order to receive. That came out in another message, um, I think from one of the other Zodiacs that I did. I can't remember who it was. Um... And there's something here about like, you may feel like you're running out of time for something, or maybe you just feel like a pressure of some type of like, I have to get this done or, you know, and like, you know, and this could be in regards to a lot of different things. So take it with a grain of salt here. But what I'm getting is like, you aren't running out of time. Like there's still plenty of time. Like, don't put that pressure on yourself. I don't know what it's about, but it's just coming through like that. Okay, there's a lot of like, you have a lot of like um, spiritual, it's like you have a lot of angelic support. You have a lot of like divine support helping you through whatever it is that you are doing, starting, ending, thinking about, whatever it is. Okay, I'm getting the word pursue. Okay, so you have to pursue something. We have the letters A and Z, M and E. And then you have the six of, uh, six of Wands, victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. Okay, so this is a season where the things that you have, you know, um, had to let go of and the people and the situations and even old versions of yourself in order to go through this rebirth, you had to go through the death. Death of the ego, death of whatever it needed to go. Anything that was keeping you attached, you had to detach. Okay, it's like, what I'm getting is like, you guys have, it's like self-sacrifice. I'm seeing like the hangman. Like, you let go of things that maybe were very difficult to let go of in order to rise up, rise above, to follow your soul, um, your intuition, you know, what was in your heart even though it may have been difficult, okay? And now is a time of victory, okay? You could be getting some type of promotion, an award, reward. Um, it has scholarship here, something about maybe school or, you know, um, learning a new trade. I don't know, it could be anything like that, but. Okay, and this is gonna be very specific and this is gonna be at least for like one of you guys, but someone could be writing a book and it gets published you get a publishing, like a published deal, a publishing deal or something. Okay. But again, that's very specific. All right. So tell me more about the release card, about the death card here. 
Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. All right, tell me more, please, for Aries. Ten of Wands, there it is. Look at that. We're clarifying the release. Endings that bring beginnings, and then we get a ten, completion. It's the Ten of Fire, the Ten of Wands. Working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in your life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. So that could be for some of you guys. It's like you really got to take it easy. You got to stop. Aries, trust me, I'm Aries rising, Aries moon. I get it very heavily. <laughs> I, I really do. We are go, go, go. We are fire, fire, fire. We are go-getters, right? That's what the Aries energy is. You think of like the divine masculine emperor in the tarot, right? That is about action, right? So there's something here where it's like you need to have some rest. You're going to experience burnout if you don't, if you're not already experiencing burnout. Okay? And there's something here where you need, you need your energy. You need your health. You need your physical body to be in alignment with, with your soul. Your physical body is ascending as well as your soul, right? So taking care, taking rest, releasing burdens. This is literally clarifying release, the death card. Okay. Now I just saw 639, which is like 369, you know, Tesla, law of the universe, all that stuff, right? Um, very powerful manifesting here. Okay, and I think maybe that's a part of this. Like you guys do have new beginnings. You have a fresh start here or fresh starts, I want to say. Very healing energies with Archangel Raphael in this card. There is some type of companionship, loyalty, soulmate energy here. See the dog? Okay, this for me represents a friend or, you know, just some type of companionship. Okay, probably, you know, platonic, but for a lot of you guys, romantic. All right. And there is, you, you are getting some kind of public recognition and success. It's like people around you are going to see this. Okay. They may not really fully see this part of what you've been going through. Maybe some do. Okay. But they will see the, um, the level up. They will see these new beginnings in your life, these fresh starts. Okay. Why is that important? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's been a part of the battle is a lot of people, um, maybe putting you down or saying you can't or gossiping or, you know, it really is just that like that hater type vibe. Okay. That I'm getting. And it's like, you know, it, honestly, like who cares what other people say and think, you know, there's always going to be someone out there that has something to say. Right. Um, I don't feel like you guys are very concerned, but for some of you guys, you need to hear this. This could be a family member, a parent, um, uh, you know, someone that you have known for your whole life, right? That is maybe projecting their fear upon you. And like, it comes out in the way of like, you know, you won't do this or you can't accomplish that. Or do you know what I mean? But really what they're saying is I couldn't accomplish that. I could never do that. Right? So take it with a grain of salt. But for some of you guys, you have to release other people's burdensome energy. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> and then I get four, four here. Four of Wands, and then, but it, on the bottom of the deck, what caught my eye was the Four of Swords. Look at, she's meditating. She's taking time to be, um, to be present with self. No distractions, no phone or devices, no other people. Like she's just in this space of content, of surrender, of healing, of meditation, of you know rest. This is a rejuvenating, restful energy. That's what you guys need right now. Maybe that's where, where you guys have been, but I do feel that for a lot of you guys, you could be feeling maybe, you know, extra tired or lethargic or run down, you know, and I'm getting it very strongly. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation. Yeah, I feel that for you guys. Allow yourself more time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, and get more sleep. Yeah. All of the above for some of you guys. Okay. Now, I do feel that there is like some type of love energy here. I'm getting it very strongly. I'm very drawn to like all the green and then Archangel Raphael in the, in the dreamer card, which is the fool card. 
okay? And then you have the four of wands, which is celebration, it's union, it's togetherness. There's that companionship that I was talking about. There's something about like new beginnings and a happy life with someone here. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity that is coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. So you have peace and contentment coming into your personal life. You have J and O, R, Z, M, I, U, N, E, A, Z in these cards. Okay, and then you have angel numbers four, four. Okay, so the angels are showing up. That, that confirms what I said earlier about you having a lot of angelic support. Unicorns could be relevant. You could be seeing a lot of unicorn energies, readers talking about unicorns, or you're seeing them, or they show up in readings on cards, or it could be anything, right? Like, but I feel like the unicorn spirit is definitely, the unicorn energy um, is around you guys right now. Bringing forth a lot of healing. You have the Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck, after the 2-4-4. Four, four. Definitely some kind of love. There's a lot of prosperous energy, a lot of things like abundance that's going to start blooming and blossoming. There's flowers here, flowers here, a garden here, and then flowers and blooms and blossoms and different, you know, it's like just so beautiful. For some of you guys, you might be literally picking out flowers for a wedding in the not too far future, you know? Flowers for a bouquet, flowers for your wedding. Someone could be a florist, actually. That's coming through, too. Or maybe it's something that you've always been very passionate about, gardening, um, you know, maybe owning your own, like, you know, um, nursery or, um, you know, floral shop. I don't know. I'm also getting, like, interior decorators, okay? Someone, someone could be an interior decorator interior designer it's the king of wands which is you know it's aries energy okay um and what i'm getting is like it's time to step up and lead okay so you guys are natural born leaders that's what aries energy is aries is a cardinal fire sign they start a season they um are the leadership they are the leader okay so it says motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, take, taking a leadership role. There it is. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking, keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision and don't be sensitive to criticisms. See, that's what I'm talking about is other people criticizing and other people naysaying. It's like, don't be sensitive to that. I don't think you, got, you guys are, but it's like tapping into your inner fiery energy, the fire element and um, alchemizing, transmuting it. Just burning it all away. The lower vibrational dense energies, other people's opinions, don't pay your bills. <laughs> you know, it's like that, okay? But I feel that what I'm getting here is maybe for some of you guys, a masculine energy who's been very quiet in solitude or um, they've just been quiet. They've been quiet and maybe they have had to do some release or they're releasing some things at this time. Maybe some heavy burdens. Let's dig in on that because it's coming through pretty strongly. Eight of Swords. The illusion of, entra of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. See, you have a card that says take action. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have afraid to take action. Eight of Swords. But it's an illusion of the mental, the mind, the mind games, the, 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 the tricks that the mind plays of creating fears and, you know, doubts and stuff, but that is all an illusion. Fear is an illusion. The only thing to fear is fear itself, right? So I feel that there was this masculine energy who might come off as very, you know, fiery and bold and, you know, um, just, you know, like an authoritative energy or someone who appears to be very confident, but really they lack confidence. They, they, they actually have insecurity. It's much of a, a facade. I mean, I'm sure that they do have those strengths in a lot of ways, but maybe when it comes to you, love, vulnerability, other things, it's very insecure. And that's why we have that. It says, uh, take responsibility for your life now. Okay. So for some of you guys, you need to hear that, but I feel it is this King of Wands energy, this masculine energy showing up here, um, where they need to 
take the responsibility in their life in some way. You guys could be getting like 88 or 888 as well. I'm very drawn to the eight and I'm seeing that. And then we have the six of pentacles. <laughs> a time of receiving. But this is about like giving. Okay, so what does someone need to like take action with? Well, they may need to stop giving to one thing in order to give somewhere else. They may just stop giving in 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 like overall. I don't know. You'll know. Everyone's situations are going to be a little different. The good you do comes back to you. So for you guys, my loves, this is about you receiving. Okay, that's what I mean. There's new beginnings here. The dreamer and then the release card. You are going through a rebirth after the death. You've had endings or you're doing endings right now. You're going through endings right now. And then they will soon become, you know, new beginnings. But they're big new beginnings with the fool. That's major arcana new beginnings, right? So the universe is showing up and letting you know, like you are getting rewards. Like this is a season of um, of receiving, of an influx, of energy coming in towards you instead of like things being removed or depleted or, you know, um, stagnant or a lack energy. An unexpected flow, inflow of abundance. Yeah. Borrowing wisely or paying off a debt. So some of you guys could be going through that right now too. Paying off debts, saving, um, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Okay. We are in the holiday season and you know, although this is something that we should be doing always to help people, but, you know, people get more into the giving energy, um, you know, around the holidays, donating, charity, you know, whatever it is, right? Okay. So you are receiving some stuff here. That's exactly what I meant. I, when I was very drawn to the flowers and stuff, I said, it's like, it's like blooming, blossoming. There's like a lot of abundant energy here. Okay, so it's like someone is, um, you're, you're receiving and it's coming in, in in different forms is what I want to say. I'm going to clarify a little bit more with the different tarot deck. Yeah, look, right away, Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's big things flowing your way for sure. There's some kind of turning point here. You learn some kind of karmic lessons, but I feel like you are connecting to someone who also has learned some karmic lessons. Okay, there's some kind of message um, communication here that has been pending. It's like someone has been wanting to communicate, but they haven't, but something moves something forward here in way of communication. Okay. It's like, and then four of cups, bottom of the deck. So it's like someone's been avoiding. Okay. They've been avoiding. All right. And then look, look who's been avoiding the emperor. They're the same person, king of, king of wands, emperor. They've been avoiding, and then look at you have four emperor, and then another four, four pentacles. They've been holding back. They've been holding back. They've been greedy. They've been holding on to material things, you know, staying in comfort zones. Um, but they weren't happy, or they aren't happy. Whatever it is, there's definitely some type of movement forward. The wheel is turning here. A moment of destiny. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this message up, my loves. Um, if this is your reading, definitely claim the energy by liking the video. Um, I do have the comments turned off right now. I'll just do the Mercury retrograde. So they'll be off for just a couple weeks. Um, it just went full retrograde what, yesterday. Um, and I believe it goes back uh, January 1st, the new year. 1-1, one, one, I believe. All right, so what else do we have for Aries here? You have the double rainbow balance. Yeah, see, there's something about balancing your energy levels, my loves. Making sure that you're balanced, your, your, your physical body is in balance, your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body, right? Like it's about meditation, eating healthy, you know, exercise, um, you know, whatever it is, okay? Integrate opposite forces. So this is a moment where opposite forces integrate together, meaning like feminine and masculine, okay? Like there's a coming together is what I want to say. Something that feels just right, equality and well-being, okay? But it's about integration. So you're going through a big moment of integration. Um, and then you have the whip. This speaks of arguments, fighting, abusive energy, tense painful, doing things over and over again, someone who snapped over and over, kinky sex, anger, and repetitive. 
that's this release and ten of wands and the six of wands it's like victory after a long battle okay someone has been living in a space of toxicity and it's like someone just like snaps out of it okay or there's divine intervention here double rainbow divine intervention serendipitous moments rainbows are going to be a sink i keep talking about rainbows for like two months now okay the rainbow energy is showing up it's alignment it, it speaks of the chakras the rainbow energy for me is extremely powerful and healing. Ascension. As above, so below. What goes up must come down. So there's things coming down, okay, into the physical right now for you. Six of Pentacles. So you are receiving physical reward here. Some type of wealth, prosperity, abundance. New doors opening. Okay, and then you have the archer. This was always Sagittarius energy for me since Saggy is the archer and we are in Sagittarius season at least for another what week before we move into Capricorn season. I just saw 2112 mirrored numbers. Okay, so this could be someone who, you know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're connecting to someone here, the Emperor or King of Wands. Um, I feel like you guys, it's like you might have like similar, you guys might be very different in ways but you're the same in ways. You mirror each other in many ways, okay? And I feel like you guys have had similar karmic paths like to heal, okay? Like maybe a part of your big karma was, was you know, karmic relationships and patterning and giving your power away to people in romance and self-love and stuff. Well, I feel like this person has those same, like I feel like you guys mirror each other in the same karmic lessons, whatever it is. It could be addictions, different codependencies, could be like drinking. It could be, you know, it could be a lot of things. Family. I don't know. But this is someone who, it says like everything is right on target. Okay. Um, you might have to implement a strategy about something here or maybe you're strategizing something. Okay. Again, I'm getting that like take the lead, take charge in your life. Okay. But it's a careful aim and taking your shot is the point. So it's like someone shooting their shot. Okay. And then as I look at this, you cannot make it up as I'm talking about mirrors and mirroring each other and you know things like that look at stalemate okay so someone who's been a stalemate i.e the emperor or king of wands whoever twin and then you get twin flame 11 11 like you cannot make this stuff up you've had a stalemate twin flame but what this means is this person has been in a mode of healing okay for this card to show up it's very powerful it doesn't come out all that often but it speaks of your divine partner. It doesn't, it is the twin flame card, but that doesn't mean that this, you know, is going to be a twin flame for everybody. It's just not how it works. Um, it could be just a very intense past life soulmate. Okay. But I do have a lot of twin flame energy on this channel. Um, an awakening. Yeah. Someone is definitely, they, they are doing a lot of reflecting or they have been balancing masculine and feminine energies. That's what I said about the integration of masculine and feminine, like coming together. It's like balancing a catalyst heart chakra activation and the mirror. Okay. So this is what is coming in for you. This is what is around you guys at this time. Um, so I hope that this connects with you. Um, thank you so much for all of your love and support here on the channel. If you guys want to book a reading with me, you want to get your own personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. I offer a few different types of readings and um, sessions. Um, and I think that's it. So happy holidays, my loves. Um, thank you again for being here with me and I will see you guys next week. Mwah.